Dan Sisek here, and it is uh, Monday, June 22nd, and as you can see, I'm back. I haven't done a blog post for uh, a blog post for about a week and a half or so, as last week, uh, leading up to leaving to go on my missions trip with my church down to Mexico, to the San Catin Valley uh, in the Baja California Peninsula, so I was really busy getting things all ready to go and stressed out even. Uh, Post on Facebook <laughs> when I was uh, packing and stuff and trying to decide what I was going to use and take with me. And I got that all taken care of and got down there. And uh, it was a great missions trip. We did a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Um, good work um, between working and helping the church that we helped with their uh, building a foundation for their uh, all purpose room that they were wanting to build and add on for their small church, very small church. Uh, the pastor has only been there for two years, and it is a very small church. Um, I mean, just small, um, but full of life, full of heart, full of uh, lots of love. And um, it was cool to go down there and help them with uh, reaching this one goal, or getting well on the way to reaching the one goal of the utility room. Uh, we dug trenches we poured foundation we i learned to tie off rebar um poured cement threw rocks in the trenches to help pour with uh, the cement and stuff when it got poured like brick uh mixed cement uh just awesome time but uh what i want to get into is that that i realized how much um it meant to me and the, and the passion and the purpose that it gave me being down there and doing that and that's part of the reason why I'm building my business is because I'd like to be able to do that a little bit more um, and be able to be a, more you know, of an impact more than just what little bit I've done now um, I'm not saying I want to do it all the time 24-7 or you know you know the rest of my life but I do believe it's something that's it, it gives me purpose. It gives me passion. I, I I went on my third one. This was my third one. Went on my first one back in 2012 and kind of got hooked on it. So I know it's something I want to continue to do. But it always comes at a price of I have to plan it. I have to you know determine when you know the church is going and if it works out with my schedule at work and if I want that time off I got to put it way in advance like when I asked for this time off once I found out when we were going I had to put back in for my time off back in February to make sure that somebody wouldn't take the time that I wanted for the week of June 13th through the 20th which just passed so that's part of what I'm working towards that freedom that I can work on my schedule my time and the other thing I learned on this trip, really deep down to the core, is um, coming back, um, working my job. I'm working, basically all I do is I work to pay my bills. Um, I like my job. I love I love what I'm doing. But that, that same type of passion is not there that I have for when I'm doing that. And I'm helping other people and, and servicing other people and helping them with their dreams and what they want. That's one big part of it. It's not a direct it's an offshoot of me building my business and I believe that it can be impacted more as my business grows and I can do more and, and do a lot more within my own church for helping people within my own church and for helping with that so in that that's the one key thing I think I got out of this um, trip was you know when I come back I got up this morning my alarm went off I kind of rolled over and I just didn't have that same feeling that I did down there. I wasn't really looking forward to getting up, going to the day, doing what I was doing. I knew that I was coming in to backlog of stuff. I knew I was coming into stuff I'd have to take, you know, take care of and get straightened out. Um, it was payroll Monday for me today, so we had to get that done and finished. So in that, that's what I think a lot of people are. I think that's where a lot of people are is when they go to work. Um, they go to work, they go to school, they get their degrees, they do stuff, or some don't even go to school, they go into military, other things, or they, they find something that works for them that will 
you know, give them, for lack of a better word, a life. But it's not the life they vision, not the life that they dreamed about as a kid, that they saw as a kid. And for me, it's not exactly the life I dreamed about as a kid. Even though when I was in high school, I came across accounting. That's when I knew that's part of what I wanted to do because I actually liked it. But there's way more to me than that. And while I like it, it's not my passion. And I really realized that. So in that, that's part of what I'm trying to convey to you is what I'm building here, what I'm building with my business, it would afford me to be able to do the things that are my passion, to do more mission trip, to do more for my church, to do more for other friends, to be more impactful for my team, for people on my team, to be able to offer more of myself to them rather than having to worry about, well, I got to go to work this week, I got to work this, and I don't know what time I might be home because uh, I have all these things I have to do and being a supervisor manager and, and my my responsibility is if it needs to get done I got to make sure it gets done so in that you know I'm kind of tied down into what I need to do until I can break free and fire my boss in essence you know and get to that point where I'm at that point where I can say I'm ready to go and then it's more on my terms. So with that, that's what I'm trying to convey is that I think a lot of people are in that mindset that they get up, they go to work, it's the same old, same old, same old. Even though there might be differences in the day to day things and little things that come up and little variations of this. But you get up, you go to work, you know, you can come home, you worry about fixing dinner, you worry about this, you worry about that, you worry about okay, how are you gonna pay bill this bill? How are you gonna not, are you gonna Rob Paul to pay Peter and then turn around Rob Peter to pay Mary and it's that vicious cycle and I believe that where I'm at what I'm doing what I'm building can help people break free of that so with that as always there are links below today's um, blog and post is a little more in line with a little bit more in depth of what I got out of this and brought more to the surface of just how much that you know I'm not crazy about having to worry about getting up and going to work and being there all the time on their terms I want to be I want it on my terms and I think a lot of people want it on their terms they just don't know how to get it on their terms and that's where I can help that's where my team can help that's where the people I uh, follow mentor and work with and things like that where we can help you get there so with that make it simply some today thanks and I'll talk to you later bye